Dogs and cats, they love their owners, but you know what they might love even more? In fact, I know they love it more, food. Sometimes their idea of food is a bit different from ours, and that is where veterinarians like Dr. Harvard come in to answer the common pet owner question, what did my pet eat? And you have a few examples, and these are real cases that you've taken care of. My patients, my very own patients, and you know, these dogs go through a condition called pica, and that's basically where they crave non-nutritional items from a number of reasons, from stress, nutritional, um, anxiety, puppies, you name just it. Like, just like humans. Just like humans. And so, but I think a lot of these dogs are just flat out out of their minds. Because <laughs> <laughs> the things that they eat, you like, what in the world were you thinking? You have an x-ray of this, this first case. Yes, this was a dog that ate its dinner and then decided to have rocks from the fireplace as a dessert. <laughs> Whoa. So the stomach, that little curvature part up at the top, that's all filled with rocks. That's a lot of rocks. It must have been delicious. I get it. <laughs> well, and this is not gonna pass. Surgery came up, but the owner did not want to put the pet through surgery because she's old. And so I said, well, we can try and get it out the old fashioned way. So I gave an injection of apomorphine, which induced vomiting. So she threw up the rocks in the stomach, but then had to feed her a canned high fiber diet and then give an old fashioned enema. And, the, the, they and those rocks out. passed? And those rocks passed. Woo! You Absolutely. talk about hard stool. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I hear cats eat some weird things too. Cats? Yes, this cat lost a bet with its sibling. I guess the bet was who could eat 25 hair bands. Well, this cat lost at 823. And uh, so all that little wiggly squiggly, that's all the little hair bands that women put in their hair. Did you pull oh, this out with a scope or? Well, yeah, I, no, I had to go in surgically, just open up the abdomen, make an incision into the stomach and just pull them out. Fortunately, the ones in the esophagus were intertwined. So as I start pulling them out of the stomach, they, they just all came on out. Yeah. So that, that cat's doing great. And uh, I'm curious. So if you have an owner whose cat or dog has eaten fireplace rocks, hair bands, what do you tell the owner going forward? Is there a propensity to do this again for these types Absolutely. of pets? I had an English bulldog ate a ping pong ball. I took the ping pong ball out, it came back a month later, swallowed two ping pong balls. <laughs> and so, I guess they, they like the first I experience. guess so, I guess so. And so, the owners, you know, you just have to keep these things up off the floor and up out of their sight, out of their view, because believe it or not, a lot of these dogs are table surfers. So they'll get up there and just knock everything on the floor, and whatever's on the floor is fair game at that point. So you have to put them up, out of sight, and if you have a dog that counter surfs, put them at the back of the counter or just put them up in cabinets because they find a way. So when it comes to dogs, are there certain breeds <clears throat> more likely to eat things they shouldn't? <laughs> I think yes. I've done more that surgeries. Yeah, I, I think I've done more surgeries on golden retrievers, labs, and boxers. I was gonna I say, I do are, labs they're, they're, they're yeah. gonna eat yeah. crazy stuff. I'm telling you, I've had dogs eat things like panties that led to a divorce because of course as veterinarians, we always like to show what we took out. Uh oh. No. oh. Comes to pick up and you take no. the bag and the wife says those are not mine. Oh! I just do what any other veterinarian says and here's his pain medication. <laughs> if your pet does eat something, you're concerned about their health, go see the veterinarian because you never know. They may need surgery, they may need formal treatment. It doesn't always pass on its own.